Hello, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about encapsulation. Now, uh, yeah, that was a run-on sentence. Anyways, now we're going to, uh, we're not going to be doing any, uh, programming or anything, uh, this tutorial we're just gonna this is kind of an informative session but it is needed for the next tutorials on learning about classes so what is encapsulation encapsulation means like being enclosed in something right and a lot of people confuse the word encapsulation with making with hiding things like making all variables private or something like that that is not what encapsulation is. Encapsulation in object in object oriented programming means that um, using in a sense using the right properties for the right job and knowing when to hide properties, what properties to hide, what properties to make public, etc. etc. Now the general rule of thumb of encapsulation is to just make everything private unless you have a reason to make it public, okay? Now, uh, I, I'm not just gonna give you that because that's just a very vague statement, a very bad and vague statement. So I'm gonna explain uh, why we need it, okay? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make this statement right here out of the blue. Encapsulation is a, a big part of object-oriented program an often overlooked part of object-oriented programming but in my views you do not need it to do object-oriented programming but you need it for proper object-oriented programming and design without encapsulation you kind of destroy kind of the backbone of what object-oriented programming is and so it is becomes once you once I explain it now, you might think it's the most pointless, stupid thing on this planet, but it is something you will need to get to realize and know later on because if you don't use encapsulation, anybody who views your code, if you write your code now and look at it months later, you don't remember exactly what you wrote and you do you have poor encapsulation, you are gonna hate yourself, right? And this is the reason why it is so important. Say for example, I uh, encapsulation. Okay, sorry, sorry for like cutting myself out. But encapsulation basically helps us, in a sense, know what is allowed to be modified in our program, what is allowed in a class, and what is not allowed in a class. Okay, so for instance, let's say health, for example. Uh, and let me zoom in here uh, just so you can see it better so let's say health was uh, a really critical variable critical in the way we run this program now we know it's, it's probably not but say health is really critical and if you ever if any other class modified the value health then you would just ruin the whole program right if we made health public therefore then any other any other class could modify health, which is not what we want. But say we wanted the person to be able to uh, display the health or get the value of health, then we could easily just say, and get health. And we could say return health, okay? So anybody who is, uh, Anybody who looks at your code or whatever, or who's programming your code, once they notice that there's no set method, no set health method, uh, they know exactly, they know from that, that they should not modify, they're not supposed to modify health outside the player class because health is not supposed to be modified. You just, they know that from this method that they're only supposed to get the health they're not supposed to set a value to health. Now, say you just made health public and you never had a get or set method, or you know, you just made it public just like that. The other person that is used seeing your code, say you're working in a team and you give your code or you add your code to somebody else's program and they modify health by accident or they, they don't know they're not supposed to access health. 
Now, they just ruined the whole program, but they don't know why. But if you have health as a private variable and you have a get method, then they know right away that you're not supposed to modify health outside the class, right? So um, that's a, a good reason to handle encapsulation. But then another thing which really greatly confuses people is when we have both a get and we have a set method. So we have a set health. Uh, we have a value and we'll say health is equal to value. So now we have uh, we have a get method and we have a set method. So isn't that the same as being a public variable? Well, in a sense, yes, it is the same as being a public variable, but it in this case it saves you the confusion of having to know whether it is it's modifiable or not so for so let, let's give this example if i if i program if i make a i'm working on a game now okay but um i'm working on it but i haven't a, I, I i can't i have to stop working on it and then i look back on my code say four or five months later right i don't remember every single thing i've coded right i don't know every single thing's function right but if i go to, if i try to access my player class in another class right and i i say like player dot and i see get health and set health i know that it is safe to modify health and it allows us to get health right Otherwise, if I never had that set health and get health, then I would have to actually go to my player class, look up the health variable, look what the health variable does within my whole program, and then I don't have to just look in the player class. I have to look at every other class that uses the health variable. I have to look at that and see if it greatly affects the program or not and how it affects the program, right? But once we have the set and the when we have the get and the set method, then right away I know that if I modify health or I get health, then it won't affect the program at all, right? So I am allowed to modify health. Without that get and set method, if I if I set health as public, then I have to find out if it actually is indeed safe to do it or indeed not to do it or, or do it or not. So that is why we put encapsulation in our programs not just uh not just for the uh just for if it's just a get or just a set method it's there to help clarify your code and clarify what is to be done and what isn't to be done right when we have a class a class is, a, is like a structure right it combines a lot of things into one right it combines a common thing into one group right and it kind of the if you see methods or functions you kind of see them as instructions right so once i know that i have a get and a set function for that a get or set method for that then i know that we are allowed to modify it and we're allowed to get the value or you want to get the value from that class and if i had if i had set health to public then I wouldn't know that unless I directly looked at the uh, at the player class and seen its function. Now, for you guys, now you're gonna say, "Okay, our programs are fairly small. I can just make everything public. I already know what everything does. And if I come back to my code, then I can easily just look at it, and it's fine, right? I can just see what it does, if it's modifiable or not. And then you might be saying, "Okay, in health is so obvious like most likely it's not critical to the whole program flow etc etc but once you start to work in teams or once you try to try to get into to making programs with thousands or even millions of lines of code you don't have time you don't have time to do that imagine you're in a in a game programming business or something like that or, or in a software company and every single time and like whenever somebody adds their code to your code or somebody views your code and you don't use encapsulation they have to look through all of your code to see what you've written to see if modifying one variable will affect it it takes up time and time is money if we use the correct phrase right 
time is money and time is never a good thing to be wasted so if you can save time by doing encapsulation or saving a program error by encapsulating your program properly then it saves time in your programming and it saves stress when you're doing programming so as a note to put here it is not needed right but it is a, a real big backbone of of when it comes to optic oriented programming and you'll see its significance in the following tutorials when we learn about inheritance and polymorphism so i hope you gained something for this uh, from this tutorial i hope you learned something uh so thanks so for watching this i hope you uh, enjoyed it and hope you look forward to the next tutorial so that's it and bye